Luca chapter 20. And it was on one of the days as he was teaching the people in the temple and preaching the announcement, there came upon him the chief priests and the scribes with the elders. And they spoke, saying to him, Tell us, by what authority doest thou these things? Or who is he that gave thee this authority? And he answered and said to them, I also will ask you a question, and tell me. The baptism of Yohannan, was it from sky or from men? And they reasoned with themselves, saying, If we shall say from sky, he will say, Why did ye not believe him? But if we shall say from men, all the people will stone us, for they are persuaded that your Hanan was a prophet. And they answered that they did not know whence it was. And Yeshua said to them, Neither tell I you by what authority I do these things. And he began to speak to the people this parable. A man planted a vineyard, and let it out to land workers, and went into another country for a long time. And at the season he sent to the land workers a bond servant, that they should give him of the fruit of the vineyard. But the land workers beat him, and sent him away empty. And he sent yet another bond servant, and him also they beat, and handled him shamefully, and sent him away empty. And he sent yet a third, and him also they wounded, and cast him forth. And the Lord of the vineyard said, What shall I do? I will send my beloved son. It may be they will reverence him. But when the land workers saw him, they reasoned one with another, saying, This is the heir. Let us kill him, that the inheritance may be ours. And they cast him forth out of the vineyard and killed him. What therefore will the Lord of the vineyard do to them? He will come and destroy these land workers and will give the vineyard to others. And when they heard it, they said, Khalilah, not so. But he looked upon them, and said, What then is this that is written? The stone which the builders rejected, the same was made the head of the corner. Every one that falleth on that stone shall be broken to pieces, but on whomsoever it shall fall, it will pulverize him and scatter as dust. And the scribes and the chief priests sought to lay hands on him in that very hour, and they feared the people, for they perceived that he spoke this parable against them. And they watched him, and sent forth spies, who feigned themselves to be righteous, that they might take hold of his speech, so as to deliver him up to the rule and to the authority of the governor. And they asked him, saying, Teacher, we know that thou sayest and teachest rightly, and acceptest not the person of any, but of a truth thou art teaching the way of the God. Is it lawful for us to give a tax to Caesar or not? But he perceived their craftiness, and said to them, Show me a denario, whose image and superscription hath it? 
And they said, Caesars. And he said to them, Consequently now, return ye the things of Caesar to Caesar, and the things of the God to the God. And they were not able to take hold of the saying before the people, and they marveled at his answer, and they became silent. And there came to him certain of the Thuqayya, they that say that there is no resurrection. And they asked him, saying, Teacher, Moshur wrote to us that if a man's brother die, having a woman, and he be childless, his brother should take the woman and raise up seed to his brother. There were therefore seven brothers, and the first took a woman, and died childless, and the second, and the third took her, and likewise the seven also left no children, and died. Afterward the woman also died. In the resurrection, therefore, whose woman of them shall she be? For the seven had her for a woman. And Yeshua said to them, the sons of this eon marry, and are given in marriage. But they that are accounted worthy to attain to that eon, and the resurrection out of dead ones, neither marry, nor are given in marriage. For neither can they die any more, for they are equal to the messengers, and are sons of God being sons of the resurrection. But that the dead are raised even more sure showed in the place concerning the bush, when he calleth Lord Yahweh, the God of Abraham, and the God of Yitzhak, and the God of Yaakob. Now he is not a God of dead ones, but of living ones, for all live to him. And certain of the scribes answering said, Teacher, thou hast well said. For no longer were they daring to be asking him anything. And he said to them, How say they that the anointed is Dawid's son? For Dawid himself saith in the book of Psalms, Lord Yahweh said to my Lord, Sit thou on my right hand, till I make thy enemies the footstool of thy feet. Dawid therefore calleth him Lord, and how is he his son? And in the hearing of all the people, he said to his disciples, Beware! of the scribes who desire to walk in long robes and love salutations in the marketplaces and chief seats in the synagogues and chief places at feasts who devour widows' houses and for a pretense make long prayers. These shall receive greater condemnation.' 